<laughs> What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. We back at it again with the vlogs. It's a new week. It's gonna be great. So you know what today is, you guys? Today is December 17, 2018, and I'm ready for this trading day. It's gonna be good, you guys. Um, I have yet to do my chart analysis though, so I'm gonna do that right after I eat because I am hungry. I'm starving, you guys, and I'm just not feeling like myself, so I gotta get something to eat. So um, I'm gonna run and get something to eat at this little hole in the wall um, restaurant and grub grub and then do my chart analysis and tell you guys what's popping for tonight. So until then, you guys. <laughs> Sin, Sin City was What's up you guys? I'm back. So I ate, I'm full, I'm good. My chart analysis took way longer than I expected. I had to go through 16 pairs, you guys. 16 pairs and out of 16 pairs, only five of them look playable. Only five. And the key word is look. I'm not gonna know if they're playable until the AM. Let me go ahead and show you guys what I wrote down for my predictions for tomorrow morning. Let's get into it. I actually looked at a ton of CAD pairs because they looked most playable. So I end up looking at CAD SGD, which is a pair that I am not familiar with at all, but it looked playable. So I went ahead and marked it up. And I seen that it hit extreme levels yesterday, so I have to be wary because if you're already in extremes, how far can you go? Right? Uh, so it broke some lows, so I might plan this for tomorrow for a drop um, for USD CAD. Um, this is a low probability trade as well. Um, it could throw an information, oh, not an information, a W formation to rise. But I must remember that this pair is in a range, you guys. This pair is not in um, a, a, like a full trend right now. It's kind of ranging. Um, another pair I'm looking at is another CAD pair, you guys. It's CAD JPY. And what I have for this one is dropped pretty hard the day before. So I think this pair is going to go ahead and drop again because it took out a ton of lows, you guys. Um... But this pair also went to extreme, so how far can you go, baby? Yay, GJ. GJ. <sighs> okay, GJ is, um, could be a possible information to drop, to take out lows and break out of that range that it's in right now. But, gotta wait for the AM, because you never know what's gonna happen, okay? But the last part I looked at was um, GBP, Chief. It's been in this range for a few days, so let's see what happens in the AM, you guys. Hopefully I can get a trade in, because <laughs> the way it's looking. Some no probability trades going on for tomorrow. What's up, you guys? So this morning was amazing. It was great. Um, most of my predictions came true. Some was a little fugazi, as expected. But let me go ahead and... Tell you guys what the heck I broke down in my notebook. Of course, you guys, I had to write down what happened today. So let me go ahead and read to you what went down this morning. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so like I said yesterday, um, SDG was something unfamiliar to me, but I went ahead and marked it up. And the way it played out yesterday, what is all this noise? Okay. Back to business. Um, CAD SGD held for most of the day, you guys. Um, well, most of the morning. It then shifted to fall. And it reached full ADR, you guys. That mug took off, broke lows, and just, it was gone, okay? Um, USD CAD held for the most of the morning as well. Um, after working that low, it began to move really fast and it went for ADR as well, breaking a lot of lows and 
going to extremes, you guys. So that was really good. And then Cat JPY also dropped, but it dropped really early at night, like like really early. Like, <laughs> girl, was even up yet? Like, why why are you moving already? <laughs> but this pair ended up moving and dropping a lot. Um. Okay, what did I say? So early in the morning. After the first push, the pair held. Okay, so after the first push, it held for a while until like you know further in the day, and then it started to drop again. Um, GP Chief. Okay, so Blueberry was in play, and I didn't really realize Blueberry was in play last night. So yeah, GP was just a ranging mess. Okay, but it did end up. Um, let me see. Let me see what I read. Blueberry was in play, so it went up, then dropped, but not as much as I thought. Yep, it just went up and down, you guys. So, we didn't really make any real moves this morning, so it wasn't really nothing too spectacular. <sighs> so, my camera decided just to turn it off on me, but we back in action. Last but not least, GBP, JPY was a fringing mess as well. JP, GJ, I'm just going to call him GJ. Um just end up ranging for the day honestly it just kept going up and down didn't really make any real moves no really it didn't really break any higher lows so gp chief and gj was you know fugazi basically <laughs> so fugazi but um this week was good you guys <sighs> It's my last trading day. Well, last trade of 2018, and I must say this year was very amazing. I've seen a lot of progress, so much progress in my consistency, you guys, and how well I can read the charts. It's just really amazing. I can. I just want to say that I am so grateful to have people that support me through my journey, you guys. Thank you for being here. And I just want to say 2019 is going to be so freaking dope. By the way, since I'm not going to be doing any, you know, trading vlogs now, what do you guys want to see from me? Like, what type of Forex videos do you guys want to see? Would you guys like to see some of my trading notes? Or, you know, answering questions? Like, give me some ideas, you guys. I want to keep this going and provide some content for you guys. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share this video and help somebody else out. And I will see you guys very soon. Tell me how you want it. Yeah. Call me in a mama way. Tell me that you need me. Yeah. I give it to you night and day. I'm talking about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday.